Hey everyone, welcome to the Rustic Nerd Dad. Uh, today I'm going to be talking a little bit about uh, some Captain America suit upgrades. So, um, as you can see back here is my white sheep leather uh, Cordura um, Captain America Endgame outfit. So, stock, it is a pretty awesome suit, um, but it's still not... 100% accurate. Um, not that I plan on making mine 100% accurate, I just want mine to be a little bit closer. Um, so I'm going to be going over um, some of the things I'm going to be doing and what I've started doing um, to reach reach something that I'm a little bit more happy with. Um, again, nothing to take away from this awesome product for the price. Um, you know, you can usually walk away um, from a, a stock suit from, from White Sheep Leather or Leather Fashion Valley for probably around 350, 400 bucks um, or cheaper um, if they've got a sale going on. Um, that's not including accessories. Um, in this, on my particular suit, my, my belt and harness are leather pieces that I just, I just kind of threw together and I built myself for Halloween last year. Um, and as you can see, I finally got my shield on the wall. It looks pretty awesome sitting there. But anyways, let's get started. So, um, recently I picked up a second resin 3D printer. I got um, the Anycubic uh, Mono, and it it's fantastic. It prints really fast compared to the Zero. Um, a lot more detailed. Um, you know, it, the the Photon Zero, it would still give me print lines basically with the settings out of the box. Um, not that they are super visible and super easy to fix, because, you know, you take high grit sandpaper and you run it over the resin print and boom, it's pretty much gone. Um, but they were still there depending on the orientation of the print. Whereas the Anycubic Photon Mono, it, you know, I'm going to show you this first piece here. There's a little bit of a residue on it, but we've got the Captain America A for um, a helmet that I'm going to be uh, molding and casting. So with this A, you can see almost no print lines whatsoever. And this is with settings out of the box. So I'm pretty, pretty pumped about that. Um, before I mold this A, um, I will be, again, hitting it with a little bit of uh, high grit sandpaper um, just to fine tune it a little bit more, just to make sure it's, it's a nice and clean uh, um, master, essentially, for my molds and then my casts. So. Um, I'll be showing the helmet here shortly. Um, chin cup, it still has the supports. Um, this one I'm actually going to be reprinting because there is a little bit of a boo-boo. That's all right, I'm still gonna keep this chin cup nonetheless because I can break that little build up out and uh, I'll be working on some like concept helmets um, for myself and for a side project that I'm doing. Um, but I'll keep that and then I'll also reprint another one, but basically a yeah, chin cup. And then for the shoulder of the Captain America suit, well, I've got my first set of scales printed. So really, really nice, nice print. Again, this came off of the Photon Mono. Um, Again, I'm gonna hit it with very, very high grit sandpaper, maybe probably just like one pass, maybe two, because um, I don't wanna harm any of the detail on this baby. But um, the file for this I got from do3.com. Yeah, do3d.com. <laughs> and um, the files that I've printed from them thus far have been pretty fantastic. Um, but yeah, so I'll, I'll take it over to the suit in a minute here and show you guys how it sits. And then unfortunately due to the, the um, print, the print bed size of the any time, excuse me, any cubic photon mono, um, the shoulder accents I had to split into uh, four pieces. So again, I'm, I'm going to be doing this, this, uh, this video in multiple parts so you guys can kind of see the progress and what I've gone through to do this so you have a general idea of, of um, how to do this stuff as well. Um, so anyways, we've got, you know, these printed pieces that, oops, wrong ones. 
Um, once I take the bottom supports off, you know, I've got all these supports that'll break off. And then basically these two pieces will come together. Try to adjust the camera a little bit here. So once these two pieces are brought together, then as well as, you know, these two pieces, which will then sit, uh, sit up here like so, essentially. That'll be the trim of the shoulder pieces, but then this will, it's a little bit off just because of the supports being there, but I wanted to give you guys a general idea. And then this will sit inside of that. Um, it looks a little bit off again because you know I'm how I'm trying to hold it and stuff like that. But uh but I kid you not, these sit pretty well perfectly in there. Oop, there goes a piece. So yeah, like that. That sits nice and snug. Nice and snug in there. And then of course, once they're uh, molded and cast in urethane rubber, they'll be a little bit more flexible, so I'll be able to make them a little bit more, uh, um, more contoured and shaped to fit together. And I plan on, you know, I'm, I'm not going to be gluing this into, um, into that shoulder accent piece, um, like for, for the master, for the mold making, um, because I want to be able to cast this in like for other projects i want to be able to cast this in one color and then the trim part in another if i wanted to um i know traditionally on the captain america suit it's all the same blue um but again i want to be able to use this for more than one just more than one project um so that's what i'll be doing and then in another video so this this is a Captain America helmet that I printed on an FDM printer. Um, and I printed it in four parts. Then I put it together, cleaned it up, primed the crap out of it, cleaned it up, painted it, uh, cleaned it up, and then put the foam in it. Um, I mean, this isn't how I normally do things, but I'm trying to show how to do things on a budget for this, this, uh, this helmet kind of tutorial that I'm going to be posting. Um, but basically, yeah, I'll be molding this and then casting it in uh, urethane rubber using uh, smooth on products. So, um, if that's something that interests you, you know, keep an eye out. Um, the first test cast, the first raw test cast I pull out of that mold, um, I am actually going to be giving away for free. And I'm going to be, when I do that, that video and that post, look for my YouTube page, look for, um, excuse me, look for my YouTube channel, look for my Facebook page on how to, um, or, or my TikTok on how to potentially get that free first cast, um, out of that mold. But anyway, so let's take a little bit of a walk here. So... Here we've got the shoulder of, it's on the great lighting. Maybe we'll come to the other side. So as you can see, I mean, even on the chest here, the scales are just kind of like printed on. Again, taking nothing away from white sheep leather and what, they, what they've done, they actually have an upgraded version since this model. But, um, but yeah, like now they've got like a urethane kind of rubber trim here, which is nice and all, but the scales that they offer even now still aren't the greatest. As you can see, the A is kind of crooked. Um, so when I when I upgrade this suit, basically I have to pull this trim off. I have to pull this A out. And then my urethane version of this will take place here. And actually, as you see, it actually will round the shoulder out a bit more, giving it more of a little bit more of a cleaner, heroic muscular shoulder look as well but yeah so this will take its place and then that trim that i showed you that i've got to put together will take place of this this leather accent piece that they've got going on here 
Um, eventually, this whole chest piece will also be replaced with um, urethane rubber scales and urethane rubber accents. So these leather pieces here will come off and this leather piece here will come off and it will all be urethane rubber um, to look more like the film. Um, personally, I like the look of the metallic scar, or star, sorry. Um, I'm probably going to keep this one. I know it's not super accurate, but I'm just going to hit it with some acrylics and just kind of dirty it up a bit and darken it. Like fill in some of these accent pieces and I'm going to use the same star. Um, I don't see the point of replacing that. Um, and this area in here will also be urethane rubber. Um, I'm, I've seen guys, you know, replace this accent piece. I'm not 100% sure if I'll be doing that on mine. We'll see once I've got everything else kind of installed on it. We'll see if that's something I want to do. And then down here on the torso area, um, there's there's some accent pieces that kind of go on, on these parts here, I do believe. Um, and I'm going to look at finding some, some decent files to print and put on there. I don't know if I'll mold those or not. We'll see. Because um, it will probably be just as simple as being able to print that and, and uh, put it straight on the suit. So yeah. Some uh, some basic suit upgrade talk here going on, um, you know some some things that I've got got going on. Um, you know I I know I've got my Green Arrow outfit in the background as well. Um, I've got some other stuff going on for that, which I'll do a separate video on. But yeah, I when it comes to my Captain America Endgame outfit, um, yeah, I'll be doing multiple videos on on a different upgrades. Um, so you can always you know pop in watch any of the videos and see how i have come to to the point that i've gotten to um so if you are ever wanting to tackle that um you know it, it kind of gives you a general idea um and feel free you know to drop in the comments any questions um i mean any any suggestions um you know if, if you've done this yourself and you know hey you know this is something that you ran into that made your life easier feel free to share. Um, you know, I'm, I'm always open to learning from, from other makers as well. And uh, I think that's part of the fun and part of the learning experience, you know. Um, but anyways, hopefully what, what I'm doing through these little videos help you out. And um, yeah, it's just all about having fun and having fun together. All right. So thanks for watching, guys, and stay tuned for the next one. Bye for now.